Welcome collectors, Kyle the Collector here. Today I'm going to talk about items from 80s cartoons that I wish were real. Alright, let's take a look at some Ninja Turtle stuff. So first I want to talk about a vehicle, the foot ski. So the foot ski, very cool, kind of like a jet ski for the bad guys. It had snakes in the front and it looks good with a figure sitting on there like the Rat King. Here's a pixelated version of it. So this vehicle uh, was a toy originally and then it later got incorporated into the video game Turtles in Time with the Rat King. While we're talking about vehicles, let's talk about the party wagon. Alright, so this is the classic vehicle for the Ninja Turtles. It opens up for them all to fit in there. It's inspired multiple Ninja Turtle items like a DVD box set, a Hot Wheels, <laughs> a cooler, and a San Diego Comic Con exclusive full of the figures but for me what I want is the actual party wagon van to drive around that would be awesome some honorable mention vehicles is the foot cruiser and the creepy cruiser from Beetlejuice next up another Ninja Turtles item ooze I wish ooze were real guys that would be awesome so we all are familiar with the ooze being green from the movie so uh, definitely showed it off as that color but in the original series it was a glowing purple color and I just for some reason don't associate ooze with purple but that's what it originally was in the cartoon now they did make this retro mutagen ooze for you to buy back in the late 80s and it would come with a little mini figure a little glow-in-the-dark baby turtle a green mutating turtle or a splinter and there was a variant chase uh, ooze that was purple kind of like from the show and that was the foot ooze and the turtles that would be in that actually have turned red over the years because of the purple ooze discoloring I have taken a green retro mutagen ooze standing turtle and I took a canister from the new were Ninja Turtle show TMNT and it's a blue-green ooze. I like the green ooze, so I took some glow-in-the-dark green putty and put it in that canister. And voila! With the turtle, looks pretty cool. Now, if you have the money, they, there's a NECA radioactive ooze canister, and you can put the baby turtles in front of it. It makes a really cool display. Alright, next item from the Masters of the Universe. The Attack, Attack Track, track tank. tank. That would be awesome. We should be almost there. Hold it, Attack Track. I'll stop you this time. Ah, no! So the Attack Track ended up not looking very much like the one from the show as far as color or seating goes. But man, it has the same functionality, which is really cool for the time. Not even G-Man can find Skeletor here. The attack track can track him down. G-Man, <laughs> Skeletor, and the attack track each sold separately. Batteries not included. The attack track has power that just won't quit. May track Skeletor foiled again. Yeah! Attack track from the Masters of the Universe collection. G-Man and Skeletor each sold separately from Mattel. The last item I wish were real was He-Man's sword, the Power Sword from Masters, Masters of, of the, the Universe. Universe. By the power of Rayskull. So here you can see the filmation cartoon Power Sword 
differs from the Mattel figure sword. I have the foam sword based on the filmation version. So I got this off Amazon for like 30 bucks and I'm pretty impressed with it. It makes for a great display. Um, definitely is very recognizable as the power sword. Whew, this comic book smells. Gosh, the stench. Whew, could it be Stinkor or is it Moss Man? No, that has the smell of Goblin. Well, howdy Kyle, your buddy Slim here from the Galactic Happy Hour. And I just wanted to drop by today to talk about two things from 80s cartoons that I wish were real. But that being said, I wish these two things were real just for me. That's right, I'm being a greedy goblin here because if everybody had them, they'll kind of lose the novelty of it. But the first thing is the Thunder Tank from Thundercats. That's right, I want my very own Thunder Tank. I mean, just imagine how awesome I would look cruising around Saturday night around Bayside High in my very own Thunder Tank. I mean, you haven't seen anything as cool as a goblin in the Thunder Tank. And that being said, that leads me to my number two item. And that is, well, let me jump back a little. Your buddy Sam has been known to drink a lot of it, but always responsibly. So on those nights when your buddy Slim has had a few too many, which is most nights, I would need me a designated driver. And that would be a bat. That's right, from G.I. Joe. A battle android trooper. Not only do I love robots and think the bat is one of the coolest looking robots of all time, just imagine how cool it would look, me cruising around on Saturday night in my thunder tank with a bat driving. Yeah. Well, that's all I got to say. What? Why are you still looking at me? I'm leaving now. Bye. Thanks, Slim, for stopping by. Check out Slim Carity's Galactic Happy Hour on his channel. There you'll find him talk about all things weird, wacky, uh, nostalgic. He breaks it down. It's a great show. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.